Hey everyone, welcome back to Web Squadron. Um, this is a question that crops up in forums and I have seen in many places and even I, you know, succumb to this problem, which is how can I show PDFs on my website? What I mean is, I don't just mean as a link, which is dead easy, but what I mean is an embedded form. And what I and many others tend to do is you go onto WordPress, you find like a plugin like PDF Embedder and there are lots of other alternatives and you install a plugin just to show off PDFs. And it's like, is there a way we could do that without installing a plugin? And of course there is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a PDF that I've got within my media library. Let's just go to media library. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna embed that onto a page, okay? So we're gonna take this um, uh, PDF here. What I'm gonna do is just go over and I'm gonna copy the URL, okay? You, there's many ways you can do this. You can add it to your page as a link and then get the URL or you can just copy it. Either way is gonna work for you. Right, we'll then go over to pages and we'll just go to widget. I don't really think much about my page names. These are all examples, right? So over here in this text editor that I've added, I'm just gonna paste in my PDF for now, just so I don't have to lose it, okay? That's the PDF address, okay, cool. What I'm then gonna do in the section below is I'm gonna add in a HTML widget. I'm gonna just drop that there. And I'm just gonna make this section, uh, I'm gonna make it about 600 in width, okay? It's up to you, play around with how big you wanna have the PDF on the screen, right? What you then do is add a little bit of code. Okay, we're not talking about CSS, we're not talking about any JavaScript or anything fancy. It's just a little bit of code, and this will be in the comment section. Basically, it's an, em, em, an embed, an embed code. Okay, uh, so you have embed source. This is where you're going to add in your URL. Add the URL of the PDF here. Okay, what we've just copied over. You leave all of this as it is, and I've already modified it to be a width of 600 and roughly 940 pixels in height. Play around with what works for you, okay? You're gonna, you know, you're gonna know what's good for you. Right, so let's just copy this. Now, as soon as I copy this over into the HTML, it's gonna just give me this message to say, this page cannot be found. Well, yeah, of course, because it's not got a proper URL in there. So let's go over here. Let's pick this up. You want the full address, okay? Go back over to your HTML one. And where it says add URL of PDF here, get rid of all of that and overwrite it. Keep the speech marks, okay? Very important. Keep the speech marks at the beginning and the speech marks at the end, right? And lo and behold, it's there. It's like literally there. Look, let me get myself out of the way. Ah, just a spirit out of the way. Look, we have our PDF. Um, and obviously that height is a bit too much. So what I'll do is I'll go into here um, and I'll probably change the height to be about 900. And you are gonna have to play around with it to, look, it's still too much, let's go for 880. All right, you're gonna play around with it to get it to be whatever height you want it to be, okay? But if I now view this on a page like so, let me get myself out of the way again. Uh, let's just scroll down. We have a PDF embedded on the page. And you can, you know, you have the functionality there to read aloud, draw, highlight, erase, whatever you want to do. It's only going to do it on the screen. Bear in mind, okay? And what happens when we view this in a mobile? And again, this is where you're going to have to take into account your height and width, right? So let's now go to responsive mode. Okay, if we're now viewing this on a mobile, 378, this is where the size isn't really going to work for you very well. And this is where you might have to make a copy of the section, which is only viewable on the mobile, and then resize it accordingly. And there are a million people out there right now screaming at me and saying, that's a waste of resources. Well, if you wanna use a PDF embedded plugin or whatever, go for it. I, there's nothing wrong with it, because I've used it many, many times. But now, rather than doing that, I can now embed it on the page, and I can have multiple ones, I can, you know, I could have my HTML here and have an image or something else to the left of it, to the right of it, whatever you want to do. So go away and play with it, you know. But this is a really, really simple solution as to how you can embed a PDF. Like, subscribe, and I will see you soon.